February 15th, 2006. 419 left in the game. Coach points his finger at me. I jump on the court. The fans were going wild. Took the first shot from the right corner. Airball. Terrible shot. 329 left. And everyone in the crowd's like trying to make the clock go slower. Then, with 312 left, first shot went in. Then the second shot went in. Then the third shot went in. And then I made three more in a row. And when I hit that last shot with three seconds ago, it was like we won the national championship. Greatest day of my life. It was like a scene out of a movie. I work at Wegmans Food Markets, store number 64. I work in the bakery department. I bake bread, muffins, donuts, whatever. We try to make customers happy. Rochester, New York's <laughs> Jason McKelwin is a young man who refused to find by other people's expectations. His celebrity status hasn't gone to his head. I mean, there's weekends he goes to Boston to play golf with Doug Flutie, and then he's right back here Monday, just as happy to be here. Yeah, but I'm here to bake bread today. You know, I'm ready to go. No, fame has not changed J-Mac. The former team manager is back on the sidelines, doing what he loves best. Today, he's an assistant coach for a Trojan squad chasing a championship. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! He's just so into our basketball program, and I think the kids acknowledge uh, him is a really special part of the, of the history of our basketball program. Shoot the ball with confidence. Let's go. I always wanted to get into coaching. It's one of the greatest things to be a part of. Come on, come on. It's great to teach them fundamentals and when they listen to you and then they go out and do it, it's, it puts a smile on my face. You guys want this championship or what? My life's really busy now. Team on three. One, two, three, team. It's great. Like you go from an ordinary kid to actually trying to inspire others. It's amazing. I don't think I've ever met anybody that loves something as much as my brother loves sports. I think that Josh loves sports because it is that thing that it's straightforward. Since he hit high school, he's always been very, very happy, very upbeat. Full of energy, full of life. Nothing holds him down. To know Patrick is to love Patrick. He's one of the most proud individuals I've seen. Loves basketball. He's been around the game all his life. Boy, he, he knows what he's doing out there. He pretty much handles his own. A reminder to Big Brothers Big Sisters that the Bowling for Kids Sake fundraiser is in two weeks. In Maine, two other Hoops Crazy seniors, Josh Titus of Edward Little High and Greeley's Patrick Thibodeau, are also shaping their identities through basketball. They share a passion for the game. Yeah, we're now. Yeah, we're practice. Yeah. You coming? And the responsibility of being varsity team managers. In high school gyms just 20 miles apart, Josh and Patrick, unknown to each other, were pushing their classmates and dreaming of playing for the varsity. The odds were against them, but nothing new for these two extraordinary teenagers. Joshua is autistic. A lot of people have tried to describe what autism really is, and I don't know if everybody, anybody really knows the exact definition of it. He didn't hug and hold, and I got my first kiss at four years old. Usually kids will at least kiss their mother. When Patrick was born um, shortly after birth, my husband told me that he had Down syndrome. So I said, well, is he going to die? And he said, no. I said, well, fine, then he's all set. We're very fortunate to have Patrick as high functioning as he is, because I know a lot of parents don't get that opportunity. We are so blessed. I don't know when we started getting ahead, but he's functioning, he does very well. You know, what more can I say? It took a whole community, coaches, teachers, whole community to raise a kid like Josh. It worked out too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking national title game will be Louisville and UNC. Josh, Josh, Josh is just like so full of energy and, and, and so proud of, of who he is and proud of his school and the community and, and the team. Josh is a normal kid. Josh is as normal as he gets around here. He loves being around basketball. He loves being around us. And I mean, he's, he's got some skill. I mean. <laughs> These kids have known Patrick since they started school. Pat's been my friend since K 
kindergarten. He's been with us forever, so he's like one of the guys. We don't treat him any different because we don't think he's any different. They just love the game and they love the team. And some, so often that's not rewarded in this world, but occasionally it is. And when that elusive reward comes, it is a product of commitment, willpower, and desire. Common characteristics of the human spirit ingrained in all of us. Ones demonstrated so joyously by J Mac on his inspiring night of three point pandemonium. His wildest dream come true. A template to which others could aspire. There's a lot of kids around the world that they work so hard and they don't get their shot. If you don't dream it, you can't become it.